Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 10, lesson 1. Let's go ahead and get started with number 2. So we would read this as, it says write one way you can read the time. So one of those ways is the hour hand. So when you look at the words, hour and minute, if you have a hard time remembering which one is the short hand and which one is the long hand, Hour is a short word, so it's the short hand. Minute is a long word, so it's the long hand. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this, okay? All right, so we would read this as the short hand says 10, and then we have 5, 10, 15, and 20. So the other way that we could say that is 20 minutes after 10. Okay? Alright. This one would be 413, just like it says. Or, we would say 13 minutes after 4. Okay? You guys can totally do this. You guys do through number 6. Okay? So, we're now going to write, write the time another way. It says 23 minutes after 4. Well, that would just be 4, 23. That's it, guys. Okay, one more. 7, that's exactly what, oh. 18 minutes before 11. So, before 11, so we need to take our 60 and we're going to subtract 18, which leaves us with 42. So, it would be 11 42. Okay? We're going to take it away from 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. We're taking away those 18 minutes and we're left with 42. Okay? Alright guys, we're going to go down and do the word problems. You guys do 9 and 10. Okay? The word problems. What time is it when the hour hand is a little past 3 and the minute hand is pointing to the 3? Okay, so let's go back up here and look at these really fast. If we had the hour hand pointing to the 3, or just a tiny bit past 3, that means it hasn't touched 4 yet, so that's going to be 3. Okay, now if the minute hand is pointing to the 3, well that's 5, 10, 15 minutes. Right there. Okay, alright. Pete began practicing 25 minutes before 8. So again, we're going to take that 60 and we're going to take away the 25. Okay, that leaves us with 35. Okay, before 8. That means it hasn't hit 8 o'clock yet. So that's going to be 7. And then we have 35 minutes left. And that's in the other way to write the time. Okay, all right guys. We're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check just like always. And we're going to go down and do this spiral review. This says each bird has two wings. How many wings do five birds have? So five birds each have two wings. Well, two sets of five is just ten. So ten wings. Make sure we label word problem, word answer. Okay, find the unknown factor. Eight times what is fifty-six? Well, eight times seven is fifty-six. Okay. Mr. Wren has 56 paintbrushes. He places eight paintbrushes on each of the tables in the art room. How many tables are there? Well, so basically we have eight times blank equals 56 again. And if we'll look right there, eight times seven is 56. So how many tables are in the art room? Seven tables. Okay. All right, guys. 4 times what is 20? Or 20 divided by 4 equals what? Well, that number is 5. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 10.1. Come on back for 10.2. See you soon.